This video is brought to you by BossRootin.com and Power Performance Products, makers of Body Storm and Body Effects. Spencer Lazara, MMAinterviews.tv. I'm here in the home of Tarek Safadin. Thanks for having us, sir. Thank you for, for coming. So you got a huge fight in a week and a half. You've got Dan Henderson versus Fedor, as well as yourself versus Scott Smith on the main card at Strike Force in Chicago. How's uh, preparation been going for the fight? Uh, so far, so good. You know, I've been training really hard. Um, you know, I made some adjustments uh, since my last fight. You know, training has been really good, free, injured free, and uh, my, uh, my diet and my, uh, my weight are good, so I'm just ready to go. You mentioned that after practice today, it was so hot in there that you were down to 177 pounds, walking around about 183. Yeah, usually, you know, like two weeks uh, before the fight, uh, I'm, I'm going close to 182, 181, you know, I don't like to catch too much weight. And yeah, it's it's like a sauna in Team Quest right now. So, you know, it's the, the cut will, will be really easy, yeah. Scott Smith, not a guy who ever looks to take any fight to the ground. I mean, he fought a guy uh, in Paul Daly, didn't try to pay him to the ground, nothing. We've never seen the guy shoot. So you're looking for a stand-up fight, and is that what you want to do is stand? Yeah, definitely. You know, he's a, he's a striker. I'm a striker, so yeah, he, he, we we're gonna have to strike on one moment. You know, and uh, you know, I don't, I, I'm I'm not worried about that. Uh, if the if the fight might might go to the ground too, you know, we never know. It's an MMA fight, so basically, you know, everything can happen. And uh, but I'm just excited to, to for once. You know, I, I have a striker in front of me, not a wrestler, so I don't have to be too much too worried about. Even though he has some wrestling background. Uh, to worry about the the shoots and takedowns, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about that too. Yeah, give a good fight for the fans. You're only 24 years old. I didn't realize you were so young. This is really going to be a, a coming out party on such a huge, huge event with two legends and your training partner Dan Henderson and Fedor Emelianenko going at it. So the media attention is going to be great. Are you excited for that? Being able to showcase the stand-up, like you said, not a wrestler. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's uh, it's my I've never been in such an, a card and an event like that. Especially I'm with Dan. You know, he's my mentor, my my training partner at the same time. You know, so I'm pretty excited about that too. And beyond the main card, it's is huge. And you know, I'm I'm gonna I'm, I train hard for this fight, and uh, I'm I'm ready. And uh, you know, I just put on a good fight for the fans, and you know, show them that you know uh, they they pay for a, a good event and a good fight. Yeah. You mentioned, obviously you're not looking past this fight, it's 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 what's on the agenda right now, but you mentioned you would like a, a rematch with uh, Tyron Woodley. Yeah, you know, uh, definitely, you know, it's something, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, really happy with the performance I have with, against him, so definitely down, down the road, hopefully uh, I will get a rematch with him. He knows it, uh, I, I know it, and uh, you know, if he wins the fight and I win my fight and, you know, longer on the road, we, we get to meet again, I'll be really happy. But right now I'm really focused on Scott Smith, I don't even think about Tyron, you know, so yeah, definitely something that, that would make me make me happy, yeah. <laughs> so are you, does that mean you think he's going to win or you want him to win? And who do you, how do you think that fight's going to go between Paul Daly and uh, Tyron? You know, I think, I think if, uh, if Tyron you know, stick to a good game plan. You know, if he does pretty much the same thing that he did to me, he can win the fight. Stay away from the po the power of Daly and uh, take him down, grind him out, stuck him against the cage. He can win the fight. Daly is a smart fighter, and uh, I think he, he knows what Tyron's going to do. So, if uh, if Tyron is smart, he can win the fight. Uh, I believe so. Yeah. So let's say you get past Scott Smith. Let's say Paul Daly beats Tyron. Is that the fight you would want? You know. Honestly, I I don't I don't ask you know I don't call out fighter you know it's not my style and I'll never do it, uh, but uh, you know whatever strike force want me want me to fight you know I know the the title is vacant and uh, you know a lot of fighter are angry to to get there so you know we are all we would we all want the gold so you know we all want to to go over there so hopefully you know I get you know closer to the fight but right now I'm just focused on Scott Smith yeah. Safe to say there will be a time when you have that gold. A guy with the gold right now, Dan Henderson, your training partner, Fedor Emelianenko, he looks in tremendous shape right now watching him train today. He goes hard. You mentioned that you were happy you didn't have to be his training partner. He wanted the bigger guys going up against a bigger guy this time. Yeah, definitely. You know, I've been training with Dan for like uh, three, three and a half years. And, uh, you know, I've been for 90 percent of his training camp. And uh, yeah, I'm happy that I don't I don't get punched with his right hand for this training camp. So he is with the big guys, and it's good to you know the don't have the the 
to get punched in the face <laughs> for one training camp, mm -hmm. maybe for the next training camp, but this one I'm, I'm, I'm more relaxed. <laughs> you have a five month old child, Nati. He's growing up fast, man. Last time I seen him, he's already like twice the size. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's amazing, man. He's growing so fast and just give me extra motivation for the fight and just, yeah, it's good to be a dad and, and uh, everything is running really smooth. So yeah, everything is good. Appreciate you having us in your home. Anything else uh, you'd like to say, sponsors, anything like that? Yeah, I want to. I want to definitely thanks uh, my main sponsor, Clinch Gear. Uh, uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for coming. And uh, yeah, just guys, make sure you tune in on, on Showtime on July 30th and uh, watch some good fight. Okay, that's Tarek Safadi. I'm Spencer Lazara. Watch out because soon me and him are going to be having a little basketball game because I know I can't spar with him. So I'm going to test my luck at a different sport and see how it goes. I'm Spencer Lazara again. MMA Interviews TV. Godspeed and party on.